one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the freshest brother here in Minneapolis today with my favorite YouTuber's favorite. Wait, wait. <laughs> Usually the it's favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber, but he's one of my favorite YouTubers. You guys say that I was biting him back in the day. I was never biting him. All due respect to him, though. My older, my older cousin. I, I call him my cousin. I call you my cousin, Kari. Right, right. Go ahead, bro. Introduce yourself, man. What's popping? What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, you know, always got to always gotta check in with my dude, Solo TV 84 Man, see, dudes don't know. I've been I've been watching you forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you one of the OGs on here. So, you know, really? I, I definitely appreciate, you know, being on your platform. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Really? It, it, it's funny because it's kind of like a weird when you see my videos because at first I was kind of like on this whole game, PUA type shit. Right. Then I went kind of like to like a mid towel type shit, mm -hmm. and now I'm kind of more on the like no fat monk mode, but let's fuck a lot of girls type shit. It's weird. It's a weird right contradiction, but it's all good. Um, you know, we're mm -hmm. glad to have you on here, Mr. Lakari. We're going to talk about a lot of things today. I know the title. Right. Somebody said this title is silly, but there's a there's a reason, a method to my madness. Right, uh, Mr. Lakari. As you know, next week is Valentine's Day, right? Mm -hmm. And I got an interesting question. A brother asked me, Solo, you always talk about stacking dates, right? So what, mm -hmm. what I mean by that is, let's say, like, you're a busy guy. Try to stack your dates on the same mm -hmm. day because girls may flake. So, for example, right. you know, at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 7 o'clock, right? Right. And sometimes you may have all girls flaking. That's just the reality of game. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes all girls will actually show up. Right. But I was interviewing, shout out to my brother, Ramil Amir, yesterday. And Ramil shout said, Ramil. <laughs> yeah, you know who Ramil is, okay. Yeah, Ramil said Ramil. that when it comes to Valentine's Day, it's a simp holiday. I do agree with that sentiment because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even realize what the right. origins of Valentine's Day. It's a Hallmark holiday. But yeah. Ramil was saying, lie to these bitches right. at any cost. Now, I know you've talked about that. You've said that that's some sucker shit. What mm -hmm. is your take? on 2020 do you still believe that or do you agree that men should be lying to women see this is the thing um lying to women is just unnecessary you understand it, it doesn't really like on the front end it it can it can seem like it's the best option but usually on the back end it's a lot of drama that will happen too because see this is the thing women it, it, it's not the lie that's really the the main thing it's more so them feeling like they've been deceived and played that's what makes women get vindictive and do some fuck shit to you you understand what i'm saying or some fucked up shit to you and you're like damn and you thought you was just like saying some innocent lie that's not really anything you see what i mean so it's better to tell the chicks hey look this is what i'm about this is what i'm doing this is what i'm trying to do and then have them accept it that's that's what you're looking for you're looking for the chick to accept what you're trying to do and if she ain't ready to accept it you keep that shit pushing because the thing is you lying takes up a lot of energy you feel what i'm saying and also too uh you know you could look this up too is that lying actually fucks with your health you feel what i'm saying mm. like it actually fucks with your 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 set your well-being but but you know people don't realize that there's been studies that that show that shit too so it's really better to just you know tell the chick what it is and then have her either accept it or reject it. If she accepts it, then you fuck with that chick. If she if she rejects her, she's not down. Then you're like, all right, cool. You ain't down. I'ma just you know talk to the chick who's down with it. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's just way more easier in the end. You know what I'm saying? What about this question by Jordan Mitchell, which I think is valid, Lucario? Right. He says, if you're pumping and dumping, why does it matter? If you lie to a chick, yeah. If you're just pumping and dumping her anyway, yeah. why why does it matter? Well. One of the things, and shout out to my dude, Ron Wills. He just made a video the other day about this. And I, and I was like, I 100% agree, agree with him. If you pump and dump a chick and, you know, you're telling her all this fly shit, all these lies, whatever, and all this other stuff, and then you pump and dump her, there are times where she might have brothers and cousins and, you know, people that she knows that will come and fuck you up. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're ready for that type of... Not to cut you off with Mario, but... Yeah. I know I don't, and I know you definitely don't. Mm. That sounds like some hood booger type chick, bro. Like, let's keep it real. Oh no, no. So it's not even. Not, that's not even that. Just that. It's not even just that. You could have a a chick who has. Okay, for example, I did a video. Um, 
I think it was probably like three or four, maybe five years ago, whatever, called Simping is Dangerous. It's probably, I think it's still on YouTube. You can probably check it out. But basically, in that, in that video, I was telling a story about I was at an event, and me and this, I almost got into a fight with this dude because the, the chick he was with was trying to holler at me. But the chick he was with was just a chick that was his friend. It wasn't even his girlfriend. So he got jealous because, of course, he liked the chick that she was talking to me. You feel what I'm saying? So you got dudes out there who will try to fuck with you just off the strength that they're into that girl or that's a girl that they know and that's like their little sister to them or whatever. It don't even got to be no hood shit because this dude was a white dude. It was a big white dude. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, he didn't really do nothing, but it was like he was ready to, to throw them hands. You feel what I'm saying? Over some chick who's not even with him. And she told me, she's like, yeah, he kind of liked me. So he get kind of funny when I... So that shit could happen in any capacity. You see what I'm saying? So again, the thing is, you don't have to lie to get the shit you want for women. You could just tell them straight up, this is what I want. This is what I'm about. This is what I like. And then you're going to find women who fuck with you. Just like with me. I don't lie to the chicks about me being married. I don't even I don't even take this ring off at all. I never take this fucking ring you, off. You know what? Look, but you know, I, say, I don't take you off, but I'm glad you brought up the ring. And I, I know you're cooking right now. Yeah. But look, Harry, I was um in Minnetonka. The, right. the, the Lake Minnetonka, the waters that purify you. Prince made a song right. called <laughs> Lake Minnetonka. Lakari, if you ever come to Minnesota, bro, there's a place I will take you. You will never right. go back to New York. It's called right. Redstone. A bunch of milfs. They got money. They rich. They look nice. for some mandingo meat. The darker, the better, actually, too. Nice. Um, I, have to, I have to go to that spot. Yeah, Lakari. Yeah. It, cause it, yo, and, and no cap, but you guys, you see how lean Lakari is these days? Mm. My, my bro almost looking anorexic, bro. You, you, I you, <laughs> looking, you know, but. Um, what I was gonna say is, Lucario, all my boys, like we, we're all in our mid thirties, right? Thirty five right. years old. They're right. older than me, whatever. But they're all married. And one of my boys, and they're not pretty boys by no means. Right. But he said, "Solo, this ring is like putting on like one of these infinity gauntlet stones, or mm -hmm. like the ring, like Green Lantern. He's mm -hmm. like it's got power. I'm like, nigga, what are you talking about? It's got power. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, when I put this ring on, I have to fight women off. These women are." Flat, like literally bending over on my desk. Mm. My boy, he works for Amazon, right? Right. Like in the corporate office. He's like, yeah. they're bending over, showing the tits. When mm. he goes to bars, women are like touching, grabbing his arm. Um, Not to deviate, Lucario, mm. but do you think that is, have you experienced that when you go out with the ring, women are, are like, it actually works in your favor in a sense? Or is my boy reaching, mm. just try, uh, capping hard right now? Nah, he reaching because this is the thing. Okay. I get, I get, I still get women because I have a ring that don't want to fuck with me. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's, and it's, and I would say that because I, I, I go hard a lot of times, I'm able to, to get certain women. You understand? Because sometimes I'll have to seduce a chick, uh, based off the fact that she's not all the way comfortable yet fuck with me, with me having a wife. You understand what I'm saying? So I still gotta, you know, put some game out there and still do what I need to do. So it's not like this. This chick magnet, like this, probably I'd say like once in a blue moon, you'll get a chick who's like like that, where she, because you got the ring on, she'll be attracted to you because you know you're 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 with another woman and all that other shit, right? But it's not something that happens usually all the time where chicks are just throwing themselves at you because you got a, got a ring on. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's it's still it's still a thing where it's still a numbers game. You still got to have game to, to to fucking get the girls and all this other shit. So me having a ring or me being uh, married, it, it doesn't make it easy. Actually, it, may, it's, it would be easier if I wasn't married or I didn't have a ring. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? Because there's times where I hit up chicks online and they wouldn't read the profile yet. So they was matching me or whatever. Then they see the profile and they'd be like, oh, damn, I didn't I didn't notice you were with somebody. I don't think I want to you know, meet you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So that happens also. You see what I mean? So it's not just like having a ring is going to make everything fucking, uh, you know, work out. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, it's interesting because Ramil will probably, I don't know if he would advocate this, but he said since you lie to women, you don't lie about having a wife. Right, I don't. You know what I'm saying? And I you, don't. and so do you ever get women saying um, when you deal with them, like, how is your wife cool with you fucking other women? Have you ever had women ask that question? Yeah, well, I mean, I tell them I'm, we're in an open relationship, and I say we're right. not monogamous, so that's what we do. So they, so they understand What's going on? Because see, this is the thing. You know, if you're honest with a chick and you're letting her know what it is and what's going on, 
right? Usually you'll get more, like when a girl actually wants to fuck with you, you'll get a lot more cooperation because she's like, damn, okay, this guy could have lied, but he did it. You understand what I'm saying? Which makes her more comfortable around you because now she she trusts you a little bit more than the average guy. Because most women already off the jump think that men are bullshitting them, which most men are. You feel what I'm saying? So they already think you're bullshitting. So if I'm like, hey, look, this is what it is. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm trying to do. So and, and this could go for any guy. You could meet a woman, tell her, hey, listen, man, you know, I'm attracted to you. I'm not really trying to go on no dates or nothing, but I would really love to like get together with you and hook up sometime. The fact that you're being straight up with her, if she's attracted oh, hold on, to let me text that to the right now. Because I got a woman, she wants to go out tonight, but I don't want to go on a date. So let me text it to her right now that, yo, I like you, but, well, wait, wait, Lakari, what should I say? Hold up. Matter of no, fact, wait, look, look at Lakari right now. He's going to give me some dating. No, but did you, but did you, but did you, did you tell her you was going to go out already, though? Did you tell her you was going to go out already? Um, well, I, I said I was working and, and, and let's play by ear. That's what oh, I said. I got you. Yeah, so let her know. Be like, look, man, I'm trying to, you know, I've been working hard. I'm, you know, I want to relax. So come through, bring some wine, bring some, some, uh, you know, some potato chips or whatever the fuck. And we could just have a Netflix and chill night. You know what I'm saying? Well, well this, this would be our first meeting. I, I met her on an app called uh, Bumble. Right. You know, I don't know if she would be down first meeting coming straight to the crib. Well, know? call you got to call her, though. You got to get on the phone with her. Oh, for real? Because oh, yeah. usually, usually straight off the app, they, they be suspicious because they haven't met you yet, which, you know, makes sense objectively. So I usually tell dudes to do the FaceTime. Uh, that's even better than just calling. So y'all can do a FaceTime, see each other and be like, yeah, look, just come over, you know, tonight. Because when she gets that feel, she's like, all right, cool. He seems cool. I'll come through. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you, bro. Oh, I got you. Look, let me ask you this, Lucario. Mm -hmm. I, I got to show my face so you don't think I'm capping. <laughs> you know, the reason why niggas lie is because of the fact that men realize that women want relationships. Mm -hmm. And if they say, oh, I just want to play around, mm -hmm. a lot of men, and Ramiro said that direct approach doesn't work. Talking about another dating coach, right? I'm gonna leave it at that. I know you know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. At Direct that. approach is the shit. I don't know what he's talking about. But That's he said shit. that I told Ramil, if I just want to smash, why not tell a girl straight up? Right. And he's like, you're gonna lose a lot of bitches that way. No, you're not. No, but you're not. hold up. But but Lucario, Ramil does have a fair point. The reason why guys yeah. feel compelled to lie <laughs> and why a lot of men lie is because they realize if they lie to a woman, and say, yeah, I'm looking for a girlfriend, a wife. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. They all of a sudden the woman's guard drops down. She's on her knees sucking his cock, mm. and then he dips. But one thing I realized um, for myself, Lucario, there's so I have an abundance mentality now in my life mm. where I don't even I, I understand why men lie, mm. but I don't feel the need to lie. But also, Lucario, when a girl asks me, "What do you want?" and I tell her, "Hey, I'm just going with the flow right now." Um, right. and I'm just trying to see what's good out there for me. And if it turns mm -hmm. into something serious, that's good. That's not a lie, Lucario, is it? Because that girl, even though she might be a great girl, she might not be a great girl for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not lying if I tell her that I'm going with the flow. And then right. I come to find out she's a psycho chick. Or mm -hmm. she's, maybe she's a great girl, but just our comp uh, personalities don't match. That I'm lying? Is that mm -hmm. lying, Lucario, when I tell a girl, yo, I'm just going with the flow? But whatever happens, happens. Oh, right. what's your take on that? And what's your take on then going back on the other question? Mm. As Ramil would say, is that direct approaching doesn't work. Mm. You lie to a chick, the panties are coming off. Right. So this is the thing. If you tell a chick um, that hey, I'm just going with the flow, I'm just seeing where things go, that's not a lie because you're not you're not promising her anything, and you're not you're not and you're not going based off of what she may have said to you. So let's say, for example. Um, a chick may say, listen, I don't like, I don't want to have sex unless I'm in like some sort of like committed thing, or if it's a guy that I'm really going to, you know, move forward with. And then you say, Hey girl, you know, I, I feel you because I feel the same way. I want to have a girlfriend and I, you know, you seem like the type of girl I could be with and all that other stuff. That's when you're lying. Now, if you just say, Hey, I'm just trying to go with the floor. I'm not really, you know, if it happens, it happens, it doesn't, it doesn't, then that's cool. That's not lying. Now, as far as the direct approach, not working, the direct approach always works, always. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you tell a chick, hey, I want to fuck, and she fucks you, it worked. If you tell a chick, hey, I want to fuck, and she don't fuck you, it worked. You understand what I'm saying? Because what happens is, is that a lot of dudes, 
What and this is what dudes don't don't they don't say. They'll say, well, let me lie to this girl and get her, you know, to drop her guard, and then she'll fuck me. But this is the part they don't say. They don't say that usually what will happen is it takes you longer to fuck her. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that she may fuck you on the third date or the fourth date, right? Versus if I tell a chick, I go to a bar and I say to a girl, hey, listen, man, you know, I'm, I'm feeling you. I'm attracted to you. I want to like, I want to take you home right now. I'm fucking her right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because what, what dudes don't understand is this. Women are, shout out to Afi in the building. So women, what they'll do is, is that they, they designate guys for two different types of guys. This is the guy I'm going to fuck tonight. And this is the guy I'm going to make wait. So anytime when you are telling a girl, hey, girl, you know, I really want something more. I don't just want sex. I, I really like you. She's most likely going to make you wait longer. Why? Because you're presenting a boyfriend material type of guy. You understand what I'm saying? So what's going to happen is she's going to be like, you know, I'm not going to fuck this guy now because maybe he might end up being my boyfriend. Versus if you were just direct and told her, hey, look, I'm trying to fuck tonight. She'll say, damn, uh, he would have been cool as a boyfriend, but he he's a fuck boy. He just wants to fuck me tonight. I'm attracted to him. I'll fuck him tonight. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the, the, the flaw that guys who don't have a lot of experience don't understand is that you're making it harder for you to get sex by lying and pretending you don't want sex. You make it easier for you to get sex by telling the girls that you actually just want to hook up because what will happen is, is that you'll run into the women who are going to want to fuck you now. So I could go up to one girl and be talking to her all night, talking about, yeah, girl, I really like you. I want to, you know, build something with you. You're so awesome. And we, we should, you know, really make this happen. And then what she's going to do is she's going to say, cool, let's go out on some dates. Let's get to know each other. So you're going to go on three or four dates and then maybe you'll fuck this girl. Maybe. But right. I could talk to seven girls in one night and the seventh girl will be like, cool, I'll fuck you tonight. So I've saved less time and you've wasted time with this other girl who, after you pump and dump her, you might have some drama on, on your shit later on, depending on the situation. You see mm. what I'm saying? Right. The, look, and look, Harry, I don't disagree with what you're saying. I think that mm. some girls will, my mentality is this. If a girl really likes you, mm. she will break all her rules for you. Exactly. Her. exactly. Yes. I totally agree. Uh, shout out to Afi Kingdom. He said shout out to Lucario with $2. Afi, what's Afi. going on? Affy, usually you're making the rain with 20s. Well, you tricking off that money, Barry? What's going on? <laughs> shout out to Affy. Dropped another one. Shout out to Solo TV84. Um, shout out. Hold on. Uh, I like this, though. But uh, Lakari, I'm going to let you respond to Jordan mm -hmm. Mitchell. He says, so does it work if you don't fuck 100% of the time? This dude is tripping. I mean, that's the fair assessment. We, we say go, hold up. Hold up, Lakari. If I go out, because, you know, I live in a... Even though it's a liberal place where I live, mm. it's, these women are still conservative because, I mean, they'll fuck, yes, but some of them want to be taken out on dates. Let's mm. be honest, Lucario. Mm. We can talk about that too in a moment. Mm. But if I go out, Lucario, and I, mm. I tell these girls straight up with the direct approach, hey, listen, I saw you from across the room. You're looking good. I, I just mm. want to see if you want to come home tonight and I can crack your back. Right. And I, I have a 100% <laughs> zero success rate. Like, mm. I'm old for 500 and I'm, mm. I'm recording these approaches too. So that way you get mm. the receipts, which right. you, I know you would love. Cause you'd be like, yeah, see yeah. what happened with solo right there. Right. That, that nigga too thirsty, right. <laughs> you know, but, but right. he is Jordan Mitchell, right? Or what's your take on his, his comment? No. Cause see that's see dudes think working means that you fuck every chick you tell straight up what it means when it works. That means that you're not wasting your time. See, what dudes don't understand is this. They'll get with a girl, right? And let's say they go the route of pretending they want something more because they think that's going to make her make her fuck him um, quicker. What you have to understand is, is that there are women out here who will waste your time, meaning you could go on those three dates and she'll text you and say, hey, you know what? I don't think this is like working out. I just don't feel the chemistry. So now you wasted three fucking dates on that chick when you could have just approached her the first time and said, hey, let's fuck. And she most likely would have told you no. You understand what I'm saying? So now what will happen is, is that when you approach a girl and say, hey, listen, I'm going to smash. I want to fuck. It's either yes or no. So you don't get you don't get into a position where you're wasting your time with girls who will waste your time. Because, see, guys don't understand it. They think that because the girl's going on a date with them or hanging out with them, that means that sex is guaranteed or that means she likes me. No. Women will use you for your fucking attention. So what you're doing is you're wasting your time being very indirect 
by going out with her because you're going to have women who's going to manipulate you, waste your time, do all this other bullshit. So when I'm saying that it works 100% of the time, what that means is, is that it works 100% of the time because you will never waste your time. See, what guys think is this. They think that um, if you wait or if you go along to get along with a chick and you go on three or four dates and then you finally get some sex, they think that um, that's something that's going to happen consistently. That's a gamble. That might that might work 5% of the time. It may work 90% of the time. It may work 50% of the time. It's, it's, a, it's too much of a gamble. So what you're doing is you're gambling and wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Versus if you would have just talked to seven, eight, nine, ten girls in that same fucking night, you could have felt one that night to fuck that night. You understand? Or you could have fucked her the next day because she knows, hey, maybe I can't fuck you tonight, but let's hook up tomorrow or next week. But she knows it's about fucking. But see, a lot of guys, they 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 they've bought into the belief. That a woman needs to take her time to get to know you to fuck, which is false. They say that to guys. Mm -hmm. They want to solidify a relationship with you. So women know that when they fuck guys quickly, usually it's just a fuck. So they can't get you to be their boyfriend. So what they'll do is they'll say, well, I got to get to know you. I got to do this and do that. Women, Most women know what if whether or not they want to fuck you within the first five minutes of talking to you. They, they already know this. You feel what I'm saying? So you don't need to draw shit out and lie and pretend no if she wants to fuck you she will fuck you period you feel what i'm saying this is this is the thing where guys don't understand and and, and in, the, in the event where it takes longer to make it happen it's just still a gamble so what'll happen is she might fuck you might is the 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 the, the fucking magic word she might fuck you after she's been fucking with you for a little while you see what i'm saying because she feels like well he already took me out on three or four dates Maybe I'll give him some pussy. You understand what I'm saying? But that's a gamble within itself. That's what dudes got to understand. You see what I mean? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we got the legendary dating coach, Lakari on. Listen, to all you niggas on Lakario's channel that said, I, I was, goofy. listen, nigga, I was in Miami. Okay? <laughs> we were popping Ciroc every night. I let Lakario just rock. I'm, 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 I'm going to let him rock today. But you know, yeah, what? I gotta I gotta address Jordan Mitchell yeah. in, in the in the chat. He said he said I just admitted it's all about looks. If they know within the first ten seconds, uh, then it's all about looks. Game doesn't matter. First of all, I didn't say within the first ten seconds. I said when a woman first meets you within the first five minutes or so, she'll know she wants to fuck you. That's not just based off your looks. You understand what I'm saying? It could be based off your looks, but it's not just based off of that because a woman can see you from across the room think you look good, and when you start talking to her, she's like, damn, this nigga breath stink, this nigga don't know how to talk, he's mad boring, and all of that shit dries up the pussy, which makes her not want to fuck you. Or a chick may see a guy, or she may not even be paying attention to a motherfucker, some regular ass dude who's like this average looking dude, he's dressed nice or whatever, he comes up to her and be like, hey miss, how you doing, what's going on? He starts talking that shit in her ear, then she wants to fuck him now because she's feeling that feeling. So it's not about just a look or a looks thing. It's about how she feels with that particular guy that she's dealing with. Now, can she feel those feelings based off of the looks? Yes. But what's going to happen is there's some times where the looks aren't enough because there's other factors that make her get turned off. You see what I'm saying? Jordan Mitchell said, responds by saying Chaz and Tyrone's can be boring as fuck and still pipe consistently. That's not all the time. Not all the time. That's what y'all see. But, but he said consistently, Lucario. He didn't say all the time. He said no, 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 no. Consist, no, no, no. And consistently is not even it's not even right. See, you can have a dude who's the quote unquote Chad or Tyrone, right? And <laughs> the woman might have sex with him. You understand what I'm saying? Because she's sexually attracted to him because of based of based off of how he looks. You feel what I'm saying? But most dudes, right? First of all, let's say 95, maybe 98 percent of dudes. Don't look like that. You understand what I'm saying? So, and you know what, Lakari, not to cut you off, irrelevant. Not to cut you off, but sometimes you might have a bad chick. Even she might even want to ride a chubby guy. You know what, Lakari? No cap. But mm -hmm. um, shout out to LAI Movement, uh, and you guys know him from the O'Shea Show. Me and him used to talk. But LAI used to say that there was a girl that she said she liked fucking chubby niggas because uh -huh. when she would ride their dick. They stomach would rub against her clit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, th th this is what I'm trying to tell dudes, man. It's a it's a variety of shit. Because sometimes what will happen also with the quote unquote Chads and Tyrones 
is, and I, I did a video, a whole video about this, where your looks sometimes intimidate the chick. So mm. he's looking at you like, damn, well, he got a six pack. He looking all good and shit. And I'm not that sexy. So I don't want him to judge me when I get naked. So that will make her not want to fuck you. You see what I'm saying? But see, dudes that aren't out here dating women and really putting shit out there don't understand these types of things. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And, 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 and we're going to talk about that here in a moment. But look, Lucario, I mean, you, um, you've been doing this for a long time. Right. To the point now, Lucario, it's like when I first got on, people said I sounded like you. And I was like, right. I don't know, you mean that nigga that be on Tyreek show before Tyreek? Nah, that's <laughs> not me. You know what I mean? But I realized, look, Lucario, and, and, and you and I have, you know, we talked about this, but mm. there are so many dudes that are biting you. And I'm not mentioning any names, mm. but right. you, you got... You got popular dating coaches biting you that mm -hmm. came after you. Mm -hmm. You got even Mittel guys biting you. I showed right. you the receipts. When you have so many guys biting you, and by the way, Lakari, you know that I've I've also seen guys bite me, right? Mm -hmm. But you've been doing this way longer than I have. I mean, even though I used to blog on some like PUA field approach shit, right? You've been like doing the dating coaching thing. Mm -hmm. I don't consider myself a dating coach. I never will because because mm. of the fact that in my opinion, and I've said this before, to be a dating coach, you should you should know how to attract nines and tens consistently. Mm. I've been only with like a one, not one, uh, two, two nines in my life. Like right. like I'm talking about like Miami nines. Mm -hmm. Like one girl was like a model, a centerfold, Lucario, no cap. Mm. I busted that not so fast because I was so excited. Pause. Mm. But bro, that bitch was. <laughs> Bad. Yo, bro, she was bad. Look, she was bad. Right. And the other chick was, anyway. But that's besides the point. So that's how I feel. But that's what uh, irrelevant. But my thing is this, Lucario. Mm. When you have so many people biting you, especially right. dudes where you know they don't know what they're talking about because right. they're using your talking points. Mm. Um, you don't see like I, I've only heard you angry once ever on YouTube, mm. but. How do you deal with that, knowing that these are the same guys that call you a fraud? They make live streams calling you out your name. Mm -hmm. and then on, on the low, like, these niggas are fans of you. Mm -hmm. Like, right. you can tell because they bite you, and they, but they fans. But then they go on live streams talking about, oh, uh, donate to the Jews fund. I'm mad. But then they make the same videos like you doing. Like, how do you deal with that, knowing that these niggas are fans on the low, but they right. hate us? Well, the thing is, that that's what's supposed to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's part of the game. That's something that is supposed to be that's that's part of what happens when you're like authentic and you're real and you know what you're talking about because you got to understand that there's a lot of do it's easy to get on YouTube and just you know make a channel and just start talking a lot of shit you see what I mean so anybody could do that so what happens is is that when you're not real you got to go to the source you got to go to the to, to someone who is real you feel what I'm saying in order for you to appear to, to know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is because a lot of these dudes, they, they've been on my channel for years leaving comments talking about, yo, Locario, your shit is off the hook. I like your stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then I then I, I, I see them making a channel and then they'll diss me, which is hilarious to me. I'm like, that shit is funny as shit. You know what I'm saying? But I understand why they do it because they they want to uh, sort of distance themselves from me. So when it gets called out, like, yo, you still in Locario shit, they want to, to make it seem like, oh, but I don't really fuck with that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But on the low, you know, they be in their pajamas, watching my fucking videos, taking notes, and then trying to spin it to, to make it seem like their shit. And, and unfortunately, I got a lot of dudes who literally took my shit word for word to where I had to send cease and, I had to send cease and desist letters. I had to get motherfuckers to take videos down, all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? So there are guys out there, and even now, what it is is that you have a lot of dudes out here they want to be um, dating coaches because they understand that. Yes, man, there was a guy on your show earlier talking about Lucario, let's meet for coffee and right, in right, New York exactly, and let's right. go on the, the walk and we can talk about me taking over. And by, by the way, Lucario, if mm. you meet that dude, I told you, tell him to pay you a stack. Make well, sure no, you're he, he, like, not mean. I'm not mean that dude. He, he's just a troll. He ain't, we ain't mean. But he, Lucario, tell him I'll meet him. I'll take him to the field. If a dude put money in my hand, yeah, let's go. I'll take him to the field. Facts. <laughs> you I'm, know, broke. I'm broke. I'll take him to the field. 
that dude's goofy. But it, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just a bunch of goofy shit. You know what I mean? And so, you know, dudes just, dudes just, they they do this stuff because they don't have any creativity, any originality, and they're not really out there. You understand what I'm saying? I can tell when I watch a person if they know what they're talking about because real recognize real. You know what I'm saying? What's funny to me, though, is that you have so many dudes who are so clueless, and this is even why they're having trouble getting with women. They're so clueless because they watch people who don't know what they're talking about, but they're clueless because they have no idea that this person doesn't know what they're talking about. You see what I'm saying? And it, it's it's just funny to me. So that that's the part that that kind of kind of makes me laugh when it comes to the situation. You know what I'm saying? You it's know, great. I, I realize, look, Mario, a lot of these um, dating coaches, and there's some feedback. I don't know if it's me or you. A lot of these dating coaches. You can, you can tell. You can tell. Like, these guys have a certain image, and the public yeah, calls for it. Hold, right. hold on a second, Lucario. Let me, let me try something. I'm, 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 I'm going to put the mic on you. Did, did I do anything? Hold on, hold on a second. Lucario, go ahead and tell no, you. Okay, I, hear you. Mic. I can hear you good. Okay, hello? Yeah, you I can you. Yeah, I can you. Do you hear the feedback, though? Um, no, nah, I'm good. I don't hear nothing. Okay. okay. Audience, is it good? Everything sounds good to me. Okay, okay. 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 Lucario, what I'm saying is... You have some you of these stats that are coming on, and you can and tell, tell. they're mm. copying they are the most popular most dating coach, coach by numbers, by numbers right? Right. Mm. Some might say he's the best. That's the beta, mm. but you know but what? You know, that's it. That's it. I know you don't believe in the feats, but this but all can be settled. Who's the best? Who's the best? Let's mm. all have like a, a dating coach field off. The best mm. guy, ten mm. stats in the line. Right, right. I know we're going to down the I know we're going to go to Miami. You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah. They shook. They, they, they shook. They would never do it. Mm. These things are going to need to be out of line. Well, that again, this is what I'm saying. There was a lady in the scenario. I hit him up. I was like, yo, I'm coming to you. What's good? What's good? Mm. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm busy. I can't meet you. I'm like, right. How do you mess up on YouTube? You ain't got to go. He's like, oh, I'm out of town. Town. That's how I knew. These niggas are shook. That's how I knew. These niggas are shook. And so. Now that's real talk. And by the way, like I said, I told you why I don't consider myself a dating coach. And I will never will. But when it comes to like going out and talking to girls, Mm. Getting numbers. Yeah, numbers. Oh. See, my game with Kyrie has never been on my game with Kyrie the first night it's finished. My, my game is based off of comfort based off of and sexual innuendo. What that mean? Right. 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 I like taking a girl on a date. Then I'm like Kobe 101. I'm, like Kobe 101. I'm, I'm killing the bitch. In the post, it's a fade away. But the point I'm trying to make is saying your mic is they saying your mic is echoing a little bit. It's, it's like it's coming, it's, it's going in there. Okay. Probably gotta uh well, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Carrie, I'm gonna put it on you and I'm gonna come, come right back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, because this this the thing, this is the thing with um, you know, being able to like coach, because you gotta understand something. There's a difference between being an entertainer. And actually being someone who's a coach. See, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are entertainers, right? And so they're they they do a lot of stuff to, you know, it seems funny and it seems, you know, like entertaining. It ain't nothing wrong with being in, being entertaining, but you gotta understand the difference between entertainment and actual knowledge, actual game, actual uh real shit that's gonna help you to become, you understand what I'm saying? What you're trying to become. You feel what I mean? And so there's too many dudes out there who they get caught up in the entertainment uh, factor of it, and, and a little bit of entertainment is good, but they don't get they don't understand the you know the whole part of it that's going to help them when it comes to just like game and shit, the shit that's going to help them really get on top of their shit. And by the way, remember guys, I got my bad boy membership sale 
up until February 9th. So February 9th, if you join the Bad Boy membership by February 9th, you get my free program, 10 Ways to Upgrade Your Life, right now. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com. You always got to plug that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hello? Yeah, you there? You good? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound way better. Okay. Uh, uh, guys, Lucario, see, this is how you know I'm a broke nigga. Anybody <laughs> donating tonight, <laughs> donations will go to a new mic. Thank you. <laughs> I tricked off all my money in Miami. Facts. Um, okay, Lucario. So I just want to say this. Like, mm. at the end of the day, Lucario, I got to give you props for um, the how you compose yourself. Yeah. The fact that a lot of these dudes are biting you. You got... And, and Lucario, but please answer me this. Mm. How do you deal with a nigga that is dissing you? Mm. Because now he's a bigger YouTuber than you. But he used to be in your comment section writing your dick. Like, mm. how do you how do you reconcile that cognitive dissonance? Do you just be mm. like, yo, this nigga wanted to be me all along? Or right. like, how do you no, I'm seriously, bro? Like, how do you reconcile that? That right. bullshit. Well, the thing is, it, the thing is, is this is that like like I I I kind of feel like bad for them. You understand what I'm saying? Because what you gotta understand is when a person takes time out to 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 diss you and to give that type of negative energy, that means that there's something inside them that's hurting. You understand what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's all it is. Because there's no reason for you to focus on another man or, or focus on what they're doing and just keep dissing them all the time. This is why you never really see me like dissing a person. I only talk about ideas. I've said this before. I talk about ideas. So if the idea is something that I don't agree with or I think could be analyzed or whatever, I talk about the idea. But the person sometimes may think that I'm talking about them because I'm talking about the idea. You feel what I'm saying? And so the, the problem is, is that when a person is, is, is um, you know, talking a lot of shit by, about anyone else, it's like I just feel bad for them because I'm like, there's no reason for that except for the pain that's going on inside of you. I don't, I don't, that's why I don't really get into all that stuff because I'm more aware of that type of shit. I understand yeah. why it's happening. You see what I'm saying? Because mm. you got to think about this. Think about this. If a person supposedly, let's say, let's say a person has more views um, than me, right? But they're talking shit about me. What would be the point of you talking shit about me if you have more views than me? You know what I'm saying? You got more people watching you. But you but know? here's the thing: the, <laughs> the person that I send you the screenshot of, right? His video got more views than your video. Mm. Now, Lucario, I don't know about you, bro, because mm. I consider you like. You 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 like one of the goats. Like you legendary. I don't just say that. But to me, that's that's like taking money out of my my mouth or or food out of my mouth or money out of my hands to to pay, you know, for pay my bills or, or feed my mother. That's disrespectful. Mm. And I know you from New York, so you know what I mean about that. Right. Like New right. York, a nigga would get slapped for that type of shit. Mm -hmm. And this nigga this mm, he's running around talking about women this, women that, but then he's stealing your stuff. This right. is, I mean, when I see that, Lucario, mm. it makes me realize that a lot of these guys, this is just a gimmick to mm. make money. That's all it is. Oh, of course, of course, of course. But see, but see, this is the thing, though. I see. I'm a very, I'm a very spiritual person, so I let karma handle all that shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's all it is. You feel what I'm saying? Because what you got to understand is this is. They're not really, they're not taking money out of my pocket unless, unless someone specifically, like I had, I had somebody who, who actually went on my site, bought one of my programs and uploaded it to their site and was, and was trying to sell it. So that's taking money out of my, my pocket. Now, if I do a free video on YouTube, if you copy my free video, then it is what it is. You know, it's, it's a free video. Like I'm only giving like five or 10% of the game on YouTube. Now, if you go to my site where you got to pay for it, that's where the meat and potatoes of the, the 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 shit is at. So those guys who are biting, they don't really know nothing about that shit. You feel what I'm saying? They don't know anything about that type of game. And even if they were to bite that, there's still more game. The, the game is endless. You feel what I'm saying? But it's because I actually experienced this shit in real life. Like, I really do the shit that I'm saying. This is why I could tell dudes, listen, you ain't got to fucking lie. Because I'm in the trenches being honest with my with my girls. You understand what I'm saying? I'm being honest with, um, you know, whoever I'm fucking with, right? So I know you don't got to fucking lie. So when I hear dudes say, well, you got to lie, you got to do this, you got to do that, 
I know that your fucking uh, game is not that strong. Is 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 that simple? You feel what I'm saying? If your game was strong, you wouldn't have to lie. You see what I mean? It's Ooh. just like just like this. If you knew what you knew, like like you know when you take a fucking test, you take an exam. The reason why you cheat on your exam is because you don't know the information. You see what I'm saying? If you knew the information, you wouldn't need to cheat. The reason why you need to lie to a chick is because you don't have game. If you had game, you wouldn't need to lie. It's that simple. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So facts. That is. facts. And and by the way, um, shout out to Jedi James. He says, mm -hmm. the more I am on my grind, mm -hmm. seem, the more attention I've been <laughs> receiving. But I guess maybe it's me subconsciously thinking like, man, get back in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the more attention I... Yeah, yeah, brother. I mean, listen, bro. When I was mm -hmm. in Miami and I interviewed Lucario, right. I was like, yo, I got to hit the field tonight. Like, that's how, half the reason. And then I know people are like, oh, solo TV is goofy, this and that. Listen, Lucario, listen, I wasn't high. I was I was just drunk. Like, right. <laughs> I, I was in Miami. Fact. Right. Mm. Um, by the way, anybody got a problem with Lucario, they got to say my name first. <laughs> I know that dudes love saying your name, Lucario. And, and I think maybe because they think you're soft. But please, and I'm going to put the camera on me. Next right. time anybody says Lucario's name. But why? But why? But why? But say my name first. I don't understand. Say I don't my understand name why first. Why. I don't understand why I'm his bodyguard, no homo. Say my name first. No, but this, one, this is what I want to understand. I want to understand why dudes think I'm soft. That's that's what I want to know. Because, you like, the, the reason is, bro, and I, I, the reason why is because mm. people, you're very transparent about your um, love life, mm. your marriage. Mm. So people think, oh, Lucario's a sucker. Mm. Mid now. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the? Right. Well, see, that's, see, that's, where, they, that's where they get it wrong, though. Because a sucker is a dude trying to hold on to the pussy. A sucker is a dude that's putting pussy on the pedestal talking about, well, this chick is mine and that's it. That's 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 on some sucker shit because you don't understand reality. You see what I mean? This is what this is what I be see dudes it's this is the hardest part about shit sometimes. See, when you're on a different level of the game, you're looking at other people who don't know know it's comical to you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's the, the funny part is, is that you see people talk about shit that don't really matter. They're like, well, this person got more views than you. That don't really matter. You understand what I'm saying? Is, is, is the information correct? Is the information going to help you? That's all that really matters. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody's like, oh, well, you know, you, you soft because you're doing this and because you're doing that. But they don't realize they're soft because they're sitting there arguing and, and, and shitting on some other dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and making whole videos about another person. That's soft. You feel what I'm saying? That's because you're not you're not uh, strong internally. You feel what I mean? So that's the, that's the problem. This is why you hear when when they say that the loudest person in the room is the softest because they have to give the appearance that they are hard because they're scared of someone fucking with them. You feel what I'm saying? When you don't have that fear, you don't give a fuck about what nobody else is saying because you're you're already okay with who the fuck you are. Period. That's why I could come on here and say, yo. I got a wife, you know, I, I, I mess with other women, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm like doing what I do. You understand what I'm saying? I could have sat here and, and pretended that shit ain't happening or feel like, oh, well, I don't want dudes to know that this is happening or, or uh, you know, that that my wife uh, messes with other dudes and I'm messing with other chicks. Like I could have kept all that shit a secret. I could have took this ring off and pretended I was never fucking married. You see what I'm saying? But see, a lot of dudes aren't transparent because they don't like the real them. They don't, they're mm. not really who the fuck they are. That's all it is. You see what I'm saying? How are you dropping jewels? All right, this is what I try to teach dudes. I try to teach dudes, yo, be comfortable with who the fuck you are, period. You feel what I'm saying? Because once you're comfortable with that, it don't matter what nobody say. Because let me tell you something. Any, I, I, think, I think I probably saw like maybe one video by somebody, maybe one or two by somebody talking shit about me. But and I think one of them I watched the full one and the other one I kind of cut it off after like 10 minutes. I'm like, because somebody sent it to me. But when dudes talk shit about me, I don't watch it. Like there's a lot of dudes who like I have people coming on my um my channel, they be like, yo, you throwing shots at so I'm like, I don't watch these guys. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I really don't watch these guys. The only people that I watch are people who are real. If you're not real, I don't watch you. You understand what I'm saying? Just, just, just put it that way. Like I already know you on some bullshit. Like, if you're the type of person who's stealing my shit and pretending it's yours, I don't watch you. 
You understand? If you're the type of person stealing other people's shit, pretending it's yours, I don't watch you because there's no reason for me to watch you because you you don't bring anything to the table. You don't to watch you for when you don't you're not you're not real. That makes no fucking sense. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, look, Harry, I love it, bro. And you know it's, it's, it's funny because and, and you know I don't I don't watch a lot of these cats either because a lot of these cats <laughs> you can tell like these these niggas got. The only type of pussy they got was in college. Nigga, we, right. we go, like, Lucario and I, like, we old enough to remember approaching women before Tinder and, and, and Bumble. You niggas is just doing online dating. Let's be honest. Nothing right. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, Lucario. But I'm just saying, he's doing talking about, this is how you text a girl. And right. make sure you wait 50. Nah, nah, bro. We talking about hitting the field. That's what we talking about. Right. That's what right. we talking about. Afi Kingdom says, Mr. Lucario, any advice on getting my ex back? Oh, <laughs> Happy, I got your punk ass. I'll be trolling. I'll be trolling right now. He know how he's, he's so hard to get that. Affy, my nigga, though. I fuck with Affy. Y'all check out Affy, man. Right. See, Jordan, Jordan Mitchell in the chat, don't he still he still think it's looks. He said, I, I disagree with looks. He I downplay looks when actually it's number one. Man, y'all gotta get outside, bro. Y'all gotta get outside. Y'all gotta get look, outside. Look, 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 you know what's funny? And this is why I say this. Mm. All these other dating coaches that look good, pause, you know, no no flamingo, mm. or that, you know, they be in the gym, this and that. Why is it, this is why, Lucario, and I know you disagree with me, but this is why, if we had the receipts or we go, mm. took them to the field, it'd be different. Because they oh, would yeah. be like, I'm not approaching women. I'm just waiting for them to come. Exactly, they, right. They, these niggas waiting half the night. Then the first chick to approach him is a fat chick. Who works at Popeyes? <laughs> oh, my, oh, Papa Chilo, where are right. my name is Maria. I can give you half off of Popeyes. Right. Yo, bro, listen, I go to the field, Lucario. This is what I do. My mm. goal is like, if I go out tonight or tomorrow, mm. my goal is to get rejected three mm. times. Right. To build my confidence up. Yeah, that's how I do it. People mm. might see, Lucario. You got to talk about that because that's what cats are shook of. As far that's, as like approaching, that, that's not afraid of being rejected, Lucario. That's mm. why I tell brothers if you're not getting rejected 10 times a night, then you're not approaching enough women. Fact, <laughs> do right. you agree with me, Lucario? Am I reaching? No, you're right. That's what that's what sees. But see, again, dudes be all in their ego, so they don't want to have to put themselves out there to get rejected because they secretly most dudes are looking for validation through women. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Again, this is why I said. Where do when when you don't understand who you are and you don't understand your value, you're always looking for validation through other people. And you understand what I'm saying? So this is why dudes are scared to approach. This is why they be waiting for choosing signals. Because the choosing signal says, Oh, she 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 might like me. She's giving me validation. She's saying that I'm okay. She's saying that I'm good looking or whatever the fuck it is. But they're not willing to risk approaching a woman. Because if the woman rejects them, then they think that they ain't shit. Because why? They keep looking for validation through the woman. You see what I'm saying? And that's the problem with a lot of these dudes out here. Because I'm like, you know, if you're if you're uh you know um out here trying to teach guys how to get with women, it's like how are you gonna tell dudes not to approach women? That don't make no fucking sense. You feel what I'm saying? Makes no sense. So you gotta you have to approach. And you got to get over the fact that you're going to get rejected. It's because it's part of the game. You feel what I'm saying? Well, look, look Cario, they, they, they're teaching you game 2.0, how to be mm -hmm. a Mac daddy, how to right. get the girl to choose you. Because, you know, when you mm -hmm. got the right. inside you, player, then the girl's going to choose you. Because when you got that girl, right. nigga, she can't help but not choose you, my nigga. And you got to pop your collar because she's going to come <laughs> and call her. You feel me, player? That's <laughs> now that's what they be thinking. That's what they be thinking. Hold up, Lakari. I'm not having a seizure. I'm just doing my, you know. Right. That's how they be thinking. All right. All right. Okay, Lakari. So we got Lakari here for another 20 minutes. So let me yeah. let's get into the main topic, Lakari. So, um, the Red Pill community has some, I, I wouldn't ideologies, right? Right. Rules or tenets that they follow, and mm. I want to get your thoughts on it because you don't really, you don't consider yourself Red Pill, correct? I mean, not really, because it's it's you know as far as what red pill is supposed to mean, it's supposed to say like there was that like supposed to be like the the reality of of the shit or reality. Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, I I do dabble in reality, but I don't consider myself red pill because I don't I I I, I purposely try to separate myself from certain things. So I'll, I don't consider myself red pill or pickup artist or you know what I'm saying. I just say I'm a dating coach. 
that's what describes me. So that's that's okay. what it is. You know so what let's get, get straight into it, Lakari, because he uh, waiting for choosing signals is seeking mm -hmm. validation. Because that's something I've heard Red Pillar say is you don't approach women until they choose you, give you right. choosing signals. Right. Um, so what's your take on that? I know you've been very adamant about that. Yeah, but that's what that's again. That's what I'm saying. It's it's a thing where they're looking for validation through the woman trying to holler or the women trying to show you the. Because look, it's a safety net, right? If you say I'm not going to approach her unless she gives me choosing signals, unless she shows me she's interested in some form or fashion, then that means you're waiting because you're scared to approach women. Just period. So you're you're basically following the lead of the chick. So you're, that's not man shit. That's not masculine at all. You feel what I'm saying? Now, also what happens is dudes do not understand that when a woman chooses you, that does not mean she likes you. You understand what I'm saying? A woman could be choosing you so that you could be her next trick. A woman could be choosing you to put you in the friend zone. A woman could be choosing you to use you for attention. So it doesn't necessarily mean that she likes you. Then on top of that, when once a woman chooses you, you still have to go and approach anyway. And so it's like dudes, they, they again, when dudes don't understand the game, they don't understand these other parts of it that the, the shit, they, you know what I'm saying? They never like talk about this part of the situation that's going to fuck up the situation they're trying to make happen. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Well, well Macario, some, some cats may say if she's giving you choosing signals and then you do this and then she comes over, you didn't approach her, she approached you. So, Lucario, you are wrong. What do you say to that? Again? You said if, if a chick's giving you choosing signals and you approach her, that yeah, well, you tell her to do this. You do this. Yeah. Hold up. By the way, I'm not throwing mm -hmm. no a lot of things. But you tell her to come see you. But you're right. not doing this. You're doing this. And she comes. So that you're saying that you approached you. you say that if you call her over? Yes. You you But you do it like this. Not mm -hmm. like this. Thirsty, but you do mm. this. Like, you'll come over. Right, but, but my, my, my question is why can't a guy also do that with a woman who's not giving him choosing signals? You understand what I'm saying? Because that looks thirsty, Lucario. You don't want to look thirsty on some <laughs> locker room shit approaching a girl halfway across the room from the club. Come on, Lucario. What's wrong? I'm sorry, Lucario. Now I gotta act goofy. Now I'm I gotta act goofy. Now I'm I gotta act goofy. You. I'm telling you, listen, these motherfuckers don't know what they're talking about. Like, I don't, like, listen, first of all, most chicks are very passive. You understand? For example, for example, there's a store in, on, uh, like, I think it's like Lower East Side of uh, Manhattan, right? That sells beach clothes. So in the summertime, they have these two guys who stand outside with their shirts off. And they, you know, they built, they got the, the, the fucking beach body and all that shit. Two, you know, tall, good looking dudes, right? Now, I remember one time I was chilling there with one of my friends because he works at the store. So we chilling outside talking for a little while. So I was trying to peep if the girls were checking the dudes out. You feel what I'm saying? So half the women wasn't even looking at them. That's one. The other half who were looking at them, they did it real quick and slick to the point where those guys wouldn't even, uh, wouldn't even notice. They didn't even notice that the chicks was looking at them. You understand what I'm saying? And so... A lot of times, you sitting there waiting for a choosing signal. Most of y'all ain't getting choosing signals. You understand what I'm saying? See, a chick is going to send you choosing signals if she is extremely attracted to you, which most women, when they first meet you, they're not going to just be, oh, my God, you're some super sexy guy unless you look a certain type of way. That's one. Two, if a woman knows about you, meaning let's say you've been fucking a whole bunch of girls in your neighborhood and she found out about you. Then she'll throw a choosing signal at you because she knows this. But in general, women aren't choosing up on a whole bunch of dudes like that. It doesn't happen that much. You see what I'm saying? So dudes got to, you know, get it out their head that this is some shit that's going to be going down all, all the time. Yeah, my nose is getting stuffed and shit. Fuck it. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Yeah, that's I, got you. I got you, bro. That's what it is, man. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these, these, these guys, they're just scared. To fucking go and approach women, period. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are pussies. Maybe you talk about, I heard one dude talk about he didn't approach a girl because he approached a girl once and she rejected him. And uh, this nigga sound like a bitch on, on his. On his. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, let, let's continue. Um, so we we got that out the way. How about this one, Lucario? Mm -hmm. And I know you've talked about this, but when it comes to women, 
It's only about looks, money, status. Oh my god, I don't talk about this a million fucking that's, times. That's all it is. Let's talk about this. I mean, it's only about LMS, looks, mm-hmm. money, status, Lucario. No, right. see again, like I could, I could throw a, an, an example. Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, he's in the news right now. He got the looks, money, and status, but look what he's going through with his chick. You understand what I'm saying? Also, mm-hmm. uh, th- this was years ago. Um, I forgot the dude's name. He um, he he be in a bunch of those movies with like Seth Rogen. He was in that movie Pineapple Express. What the fuck is this guy name? Um, but he he's like a sex symbol type of dude. He did a play in New York. He tried to holler at this chick, and she fucking played him. He was I think she was like younger or some shit. She was like seventeen, so she was underage, and he got into a whole bunch of fucked up uh situations. James Franco. Yeah, James Franco. Yes, exactly. James Franco got looks, money, and status, and he almost fucking fucked his whole situation up dealing with some chick. You feel what I'm saying? Or trying to deal with some chick. So it's not about you just having the looks, money, and status. And this is what guys will say. They'll be like, well, the the, the guy still got the girl, right? They'll be like, well, the guy still got a girl wanting to check them out. And see, again, that's low value rhetoric and behavior because what happens is if you're willing just to take any chick just because she'll have you that's when you run into fucking trouble because this is what johnny depp is going through right now you feel what i'm saying that's what happens because you'll be like oh this girl's cute she want to fuck with me and now you'll be in a situation with johnny depp like where johnny depp is at you feel what i'm saying and this is what dudes gotta understand most of y'all motherfuckers are not gonna have a bunch of money like these rich motherfuckers most of y'all are not gonna have the status that a Johnny Depp or James Franco has, and most of y'all aren't going to be the best-looking motherfuckers. So I don't understand why dudes still worry about that shit. It's fucking goofy. You know what I'm but wait, Lakari, hold up. Jordan Mitchell. Hey, Jordan Mitchell, I wish I could have you on the panel because he's saying all the right things. He said game is important. Wait, but looks, Ryan Supreme <laughs> in 2020, you're trying to tell us otherwise because you're a dating coach. I mean, Lakari, that doesn't make, that no sense. That didn't make no sense. So because it's 2020, it looks are the, the – what is that? Okay. So you're trying to tell me – Okay, hold up. Lakari, stop, stop. Stop right there. Lakari, you, you're my cousin. You're my cousin. But he makes sense. On Instagram, the girls aren't going following the ugliest dudes unless they got clout. They follow the dudes that, that got it popping, which means they got status, or they got looks. So Jordan Mitchell is right. We live in the Instagram era. No, Girl, this is what I'm saying. clout. And money and this status. Is what this is what I'm saying, and this is to Jordan Mitchell. And anyone else? What's your What's your goal with the chicks? You understand? Know is it Is it to get likes on Instagram or is it to fuck? Is your goal with chicks for chicks to choose you and and smile at you, or is it to fuck? Is your goal to 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 get girls to like want to talk to you and or is it to fuck? You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is is that you got a lot of guys out here who are average looking. To even below average looking who are fucking. So what are you talking about? It's about, oh, well, it's just looks reign supreme. You're going to say like, that's actually some attention whore type of shit, if you want to be honest. Because I always said, you know, before, do you want a girl to think you're cute or do you want a girl to fuck you, right? Choose one. Now, if you want the girl to think you're cute, then that's cool. You could, you know, you could flex your muscles on Instagram and all that other shit. But do you want her to fuck you? Do you want her to have sex with you? That's the point. So what I'm saying is you have a lot of guys out here who are average looking to below average looking. Why? Because that's the main population who are out here fucking. So what are y'all guys talking about? Where it's just about looks. And on top of that, looks are subjective. So based off of how you look, a girl may think you're attractive when another girl may not. So it's irrelevant when you go in the grand scheme of things. But see, guys who have no um, little to no... Um, success with women thinks it's all about looks because they're thinking from their male mind and they don't understand how female attraction works, meaning what women are attracted to. Women look at everything. So when you're talking about being an attractive man, right? Wait, 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 look, how are you? women look at what? They look at everything. Everything. So they're, look, they're looking at the way you dress. They're looking at your, your fucking haircut. They're looking at uh, your face, your body. They're looking at your watch. They're looking at the way you talk. They're looking at everything. You feel what I'm saying? 
They're looking at everything. And Myth Twist in the chat said some ridiculous shit talking about looks ain't subjective. How many women like five, four guys? Okay, you ever heard of Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart was married or had a, a, a girl or whatever before he was famous and had kids with her. So how the fuck that happened? You see what I'm saying? How? He had local clout. You know what I'm saying? No, this is before, no, this is before he was anybody even knew who the fuck he was. You see what I'm saying? So dudes always coming up with these excuses and looks are actually looks are subjective because everybody's not gonna like the same look. This is what dudes don't get. I'd be like, what what is up with these dudes? You know okay. what I'm saying? Hold up. He says if you're trying to smash, looks are number one. If you're looking to marry, money's number one. I mean, look, Harry, that makes sense. Because no, 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 no. If you're trying to smash, sexual attraction is number one. Wait, and if you're oh, look, Harry, wait. This is what I'm saying, man. See, I got to do all this damage control because motherfuckers been watching all these goofy niggas who don't know what the fuck they talking about. It's sexual attraction. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's if she's attracted to you sexually. I'll ask, okay, I'll give it to you guys like this. Have you ever seen a girl? Who you thought was like maybe a five and a half or six, but for some reason you wanted to fuck the shit out of her. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's okay, you it's called no fat. To her, you understand? There was something about her that made you sexually attracted to her. So she wasn't the dime or the best looking chick, but you wanted to fuck her. Why? Because you were sexually attracted. Sexual attraction is the thing that's going to get you to sex, not just your look, because you can look good and a woman may not be sexually attracted to you. You understand? A woman could think you look good, but not be attracted to you. She could think you're, she'd be like, this guy's handsome, but my pussy don't get wet. This guy, he looks good, but my pussy's dry because she has no sexual attraction to him. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, it, dude, it dudes are crazy. <laughs> look how you are, yo. Yeah. Look how oh you get fat. I love it. See, 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 Solo think he's slick. He be getting me on, on these lives to get me riled up. I know what you be doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you, are you get a sip of that water or, or whatever it is that you got <laughs> there. Solo's good. Solo's oh, really right. good. Lacau, we don't know it, but Lakao, you're sipping on Hennessy on the low. Uh, shout out <laughs> to Remy LaBue with the 999 Super Chat. That Appreciate that. Emedius with the $2 says, nothing wrong with going after you want. Appreciate that. Um, it's yeah, crazy. guys. Any other question now? Y'all got to donate because I'm I'm gonna read through this because <laughs> Mario's got to leave soon. So, look, Mario, what about this? Right. The wall. I've talked about this. Mm. The wall. Now, now, me. <laughs> I gotta be clear. Mm. I've said this. There's two types of walls. Mm. When a woman reaches forty, mm. the the first wall that goes down is her marriage market value. Mm. So that doesn't mean that a woman who's 40, 50 can't get dick. Oh, they can get dick. Mm. But her marriage market value goes down. Mm. Now, the second wall, this is the term that I've came up with. Mm. When a woman turns 50, she's done with marriage. She's mm. just getting dick. I mean, she will mm. still get fucked. Mm. But it seems to be like guys only talk about one wall. Now, me, I've talked about two walls. Because mm. like I was telling you, Lakari, if I took you to Redstone in Minnetonka, mm. you'll see mm. some 40-year-old bad chicks. They still get all types of dick. They might not get yeah. married. Now, what's mm. your take on the wall? Because that's a big red pill talking point. What's mm. your take on it? Do you agree with me? Disagree? Uh, what's your mm. take on the, the, the wall mm. in general? Well, this is the thing. You got to understand that the wall and that whole cheese hitting the wall type of uh, thought process, that's a very, um, that's a beta male talking point. You Ooh. understand what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm, I'm I'm saying why. Hold up. I got to be goofy. <laughs> No, let me explain why, right? Because I did a video the other day, maybe like maybe like a month ago, whatever I should say, where I said that the wall, there's no such thing as a wall, or women don't hit the wall, or some shit like that, right? And dudes came on that shit mad as fuck. Like, what are you talking about? You don't understand, Locario. You know, her, her marriage uh thing is gonna go down because nobody wants to marry her, yada 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 yada, right? But who's the guys who want to actually marry women? You understand what I'm saying? The beta males. You see what I mean? So they're thinking, I want to marry some chick who... But, but Lucario, stop. But just because the beta males want to marry her doesn't mean that the men that she wants is the beta male. You know she wants the alpha or the guy. Exactly. And that and that's my and that's my point. My point is because dudes, they'll, they'll say, well, she hit the wall because she can't get a husband. But guess what? The husband she wants don't really want her anyway. 
in most cases. Meaning the husband she wants is that sexual alpha male guy. Guess what the sexual alpha male guy is doing? He's fucking all the girls. So he's like, you want me to be your husband? Get the fuck out of here. I'm busy doing what the fuck I'm trying to do. So she wants that alpha male dude. But what happens is the beta males want to wife her up because they're like, oh, my God, this woman, she's 22 years old. She's really hot. She's in her prime. And I want to I want a wife because I because I can't get women that much. So if this girl's willing to have me, I want to marry her. Right. And then what happens is because the beta males have a hard time getting women, they're upset and resentful at the women they can't get. You feel what I'm saying? And so when the woman turns 40 or 50, they're like, you see, you're you're hitting the wall, bitch. Remember when, when you were younger and I wanted women like you, you shitted on me. Now you're hitting the wall and now I don't want to marry you. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. It's a beta male talking point. They're, the whole thing of, of the, well, the woman's not going to get any marriage or any, any type of stuff, that's a beta male talking point because the guys she actually wanted in the first place aren't the guys who are going to stick around anyway. So the women settle for the beta males, Right. But that's them settling for those guys. So those guys get a woman that settles for them. So the thing when I say women don't hit the wall is, is that most women, right, are still going to get a whole bunch of guys who want to fucking deal with them, even if it's on some just sexual shit. And then the guy, the, the, the argument is, well, the wall does exist because those women aren't going to get husbands. But who wants to be the husbands? The beta males. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, that. It's a beta male talking point. Wait, the wait, okay. Male, but, the alpha male but, Mario, not- hold on, hold on. And I'm glad you brought that up because you kind of proven my point right, mm-hmm. but in in a, in a different sense. Because mm-hmm. you saying it's the beta male that wants to get married, right? But there's a woman, and and shout out to Donovan Sharp because that's how I'm doing it first. Yeah, shout out Donovan Sharp. That's my dude. She she was 80 years old, and she went. She was going on Tinder dates in mm-hmm. New York, by the way. Your 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 hood. Right, They're thirty old men. So she's fifty years older than the men she was going with. Now right. these men, by the way, Lucario, there's no way I could go on a date with an eighty year old. And nigga, I'd rather chop my my penis off first. <laughs> but she was going on dates with eight, you know, younger men. They were bunker bustering her, but she was looking for a commitment. So Lucario, this is where my theory, mm. the second wall, which I hypothesize, comes in that. Women can always get sexual options. They can right. always get smashed by the type of dude they want. Right. That's not a problem. Right. But when it comes to marriage, mm. even an 80 year old woman like this one wants to get married, she mm. can't find it. So it's not the guys that don't want to marry her. Mm. It's the fact that she can't get a guy to marry that she wants. No, I agree. I agree. I'm not saying that that's not, I'm saying that yeah, that's going to be hard for an 80 year old chick to want to get some dude to marry her. But what I'm saying is, is that the argument is that the women hit the wall because they can't find uh, a man to marry them, right? Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. Look, right, so the women... So the women you, listen, I went to Miami. I right. saw chicks that were 300 pounds getting hollered at by, by diesel dudes. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. all these niggas in the comments talk about, I don't smash fours and fives. Y'all niggas is liars. Go to right. Miami. You guys can't even compete. I'm, I'm just being honest. Right. Facts. Facts. Um, Davey Wheeling with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, Lakari, hold on. I'm, I'm going to keep moving. We were almost we're almost there. Right. Um, oh, this is my favorite. Uh, Awald, all women are like that. All mm. women are whores. All right. women will suck cock for chat. Brad, Lakari, mm. is this true? Are all women the same? Do they all mm. suck the same cock? They all want the alpha male. They all want to suck Brad's dick, balls. Mm. What's your take on that? Right. Well, it's the thing. All, like, women all have a base of of behavior because they're women. You understand what I'm saying? Just like us men, we have a base of behavior because we're men. So generally men are going to act a certain way and generally women are going to act a certain way. But what you got to understand is, is that how we go about things are, are different also. You feel what I'm saying? So for example, let's say, for example, we could take it to the, to the men's side. You, you can safely say that most men, they're like, they want to fuck. You understand? They want to fuck Beautiful women, right? We can say that generally men want to fuck beautiful women. All men want to fuck beautiful women. But based on the way we go about it is different. Meaning some men might use some 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 game to really like, you know, as far as like talking and, and using that sort of strategy. Some men might fucking pay for it. You know, some men might fucking try to get a hookup from a friend or whatever. But we still are going to the same space. So women are the same way where they have a base of shit is like, you know, the same type of shit, right? But what happens is this, 
is that there, there's different ways of how women are going to go about certain things. This is why you're going to have women who are in one, one situation will fuck some dude like just like this. And then another situation where she'll make another guy wait. And it's the same fucking guy. I mean, the same fucking woman. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's similarities where it's the same, but it's still different ways of, of, of how shit's going to go. And there's different ways of how women are going to react to you. So, and this and this is the point I want to make bring up too, to, to, to drive it home, is this. Why do you have some guys who are MGTOW and some guys who are not MGTOW? Because you have the same woman treating two different types of guys differently. You see what I'm saying? So the MGTOW guy may say, well, all women are like this, this, and this. And the other guy who's not MGTOW is like, well, women are like this, this, and this. They're talking about the same women. She just treats them differently. You see what I'm saying? And she goes about it differently. So when, so to say that all women are like this or like that, yeah, they're all everything. They're everything encompassed. You're just getting a different uh, treatment. than so, wait, so Lucario, a guy who's dealt with women, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what race, black, white, Asian, right. they all cheated on them, they all mm -hmm. have been whores. Right. His assessment is wrong? I mean, what would you attribute that to? No, what I, so you're talking about as far as cheating goes? Well, I'm, I'm that, but he, he meets women. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what race. Right. But they all have cheated on him. Uh -huh. how, how, how could that be possible, Lucario? Black, Asian, white, they all have cheated on him. So, so now he goes on YouTube, I'm midtown, all these women are whores. Mm -hmm. Is he right. wrong? Right. Well, I would say I would say most of the women are going to cheat, even or or they they have the capacity to cheat because based off this the circumstances situation. But it's but the thing is you you got to this is the thing people can got to say generally because there's always exceptions. There's always the outliers. There's always exceptions. And also you got to understand that based off of based off of your particular situation is going to dictate how you're receiving uh what you're receiving so for example i could i could go in here and say damn you know all these girls uh fuck me like really quickly you understand what i'm saying but that's my experience like i don't like like damn i get so many chicks that i deal with and they just be sucking my dick you know really quickly that's my experience another guy may be like damn all these women reject me that's all they do they reject every guy so based off of who you are and what your experience is that's what you're going to that's what you're going to get you feel what I'm saying? Right. So, so it's not it's not to invalidate the experience of the guy who's getting rejected, or it's not to invalidate the experience of the guy who's getting the pussy. It's just to understand that all of it exists in 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 what you're doing, but also there are exceptions to the rule of what is true for you. That's that's what dudes gotta understand. Okay. And and we got King Riches in the building. Shout out to King Riches was popping, bro. Riches. You know what I mean? Like in it. the building, Croydon in the building, Eden Bro in the building. You, talk, you talking about you talking about dudes is biting me. Dudes be biting King Riches like motherfucking crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Not... What happened? Dudes be biting King Riches? Oh yeah, dudes be biting King Riches, man. All day. Woo! King Riches in the building. All fucking day. I told yeah. King Riches, bro, you need to smile in your videos. <laughs> hey, King Riches, if you would have dropped the peas, I would have put you on here. You know me, bro. I'm a London nigga, too. I'm not from London, but I act like one. That means right. I'm about my peas. Shout right. out to uh, King Richard. Hey, 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 um, hey, Lucario, you know what? Mm. Next time we have a stream, we got to put King Richards on. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Real talk. Yeah? Real you talk. cool with that? All right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll put King Richards on uh, with the power. Okay, hold on. We're almost done. We're almost done because Lucario's got to go. He's got some white girls on deck. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, this, this is my favorite one, Lucario, and we might disagree depending on how you answer. But women only want to fuck alphas. They only want betas after they're ran through when they're looking for a guy to provide for them. Do you agree with that one? Yeah, mostly. That's usually what... what oh, what oh, 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 Lucario! <laughs> Think about it for a second, nigga. Think about mm -hmm. it. Think about it. I'm right. Stephen A. Smith voice. So wait, you only saying that women want to fuck alphas. Yeah, and, I, and 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 the, and the key the key word is want. Okay, you know what I'm saying? a woman will fuck a guy who's a beta because she feels she has to, but she wants to fuck the alpha. Just like this, you want you a, a guy wants to fuck the ten, but he'll settle for the five. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's how it is with women. Lucario, hold up. Let me, let me stop you for a second, bro. Right. I gotta stop you. 
Because <laughs> back in 2014, I was mm. I, I know look how you don't believe it, but I was mm. in better shape than this. I know, I know, I, I I'm I'm working out, I'm working out. <laughs> I was in great shape, right? I, I was working out, I was in good shape. I was going out with this white guy, mm. five five Lucario. I'm mm. six one. He's mm. five five, 140 pounds. Right. This guy <laughs> what was pulling way more bitches than me, like mm. nobody's business. Now right. I know people are gonna be like, oh, it's because he's white. Mm. Okay, fuck all that. Mm. I was still taller than him and in mm. better shape. Right. And he was not an alpha guy. Mm. He, he would approach girls like, uh, but he was aggressive. Mm. So how do you explain that, Lucario? Some guy who's a midget mm. getting all this pussy. That's not alpha. How does that? Oh, don't, um, please, Lucario, don't tell me. Well, he's that outlier guy. Please, how does that happen? No, but this is this is the thing. Who who's to say that his behavior and how he was going about it? Was alpha because it's not just because you're short, that don't mean that you can't be an alpha male. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like you could be a, a short. No, Lakari, he was not an alpha male, bro. I can guarantee. Mm -hmm. Listen, Lakari, if you see this dude, you'd be like, This nigga ain't an alpha. You would go out in the field with him, you'd be like, Ugh, This nigga goofy. Well, probably, but, you know, well, probably, probably his game is just tight. That's the thing. Maybe huh? his game is maybe his game was on point. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you that. His game was on That's point. That's probably what it was. Very very but a, dude, a dude could be short and still be out. It is, it's not really the size. Because you got dudes, they'll be tall and they'll be beta males too. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll they'll look like they have that alpha look, but they're not alpha. You feel what I'm saying? So it just is it's not really the look, it's the behavior. See, alpha, see, it's about your behavior. This is what people don't understand. The behavior is the thing because it's not just the look, because you when you your your behavior can switch up and change, and that determines how a woman sees you. You feel what I'm saying? And so based off of how a woman sees you, that's if she sees you as an alpha male or beta male. You see what I'm saying? It's based off of your behavior. You see what I mean? And so that's what dudes don't understand. It's it's a behavior thing. It's not just you looking a certain way because like for example, look at look at um look at Terry Crews. Terry Crews is a beta male like a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? But he <laughs> look what he, he got the look of an alpha male or what people would think is an alpha male. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like he's on some beta male shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? All right, last question, Lucario. Do you think that alpha and beta is 100% based on behavior or that's how you look influence that as well? Because mm -hmm. a guy um, that's 5'3", mm. you know, looks like Obsidian. No, no disrespect to Obsidian. <laughs> but, but people might say he's a beta, but if he talks all this alpha shit, mm -hmm. they'll say he's got short man syndrome. Mm -hmm. Or is it... Or it, that doesn't matter. It's just based off of your behavior. It doesn't matter how short you are, tall you are, if you're fat or skinny. Right. What's well, that, that? Well, the reason why is the reason why it's based off of behavior is because you have to understand that when you're dealing with women, at the end of the day, a lot of it is based off of feeling. Because see, women women are susceptible to game. This is why game is so important. Because based off of how a woman feels, right? A lot of times that determines how she responds to you and, and what she's going to do and what she's going to act like when she's dealing with you. So what happens is this is why a lot of times you could have a guy who people would say is good looking, but let's say he's nervous when he talks to women or he, he, he's shy. He doesn't know what to say. And he's kind of insecure, right? His behavior is showing that he's not really an alpha dude versus you can have a guy who's shorter than him and just looks kind of regular, but he's more aggressive. He's more smooth with the ladies. He knows how to say things to get women to smile and to, to want to fuck with him. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, let's say, for example, someone like Tyler from RSD, who's that's an alpha male. You understand what I'm saying? The way that he comes across and the way that he interacts with women, he commands attention. He gets them to do the things he wants them to do based off his confidence and his energy. Versus you have a guy who looks way better than him, who's even taller than him, but because he's insecure, because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not going to be considered an alpha male to that woman. So what it is, is it's based off of what, because see, you, you have different, you know, because people say, well, you have a, a sexual alpha, you have a social alpha. So a social alpha might be that guy who's the corporate guy who runs the company. The sexual alpha may be the guy who gets, you know, shit popping with the ladies. You see what I'm saying? So it's based off what you're talking about. But that when we're talking about that sexual alpha, the guy who has the behaviors that elicit that energy from the woman to make her pussy wet, that's the guy who she's going to look at as the alpha male. You feel what I'm saying? That's all it is. You see what I mean? And, and this is what dudes got to understand. So it's really that behavior. It's not just based off of the looks. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it all is. Right. I, 
Hey, Lucario, I, yo, Lucario, cook. Lucario, I just want you to cook because I know I was. I, oh, no. solo TV being corny again, but you know what? This is why I like <laughs> having you on because I get to play devil's advocate. Right. I mean, I agree with a lot you say because right. I know a lot of guys be like, solo, you don't get no coochie. <laughs> and it's like, them, them what? Then I show them the picture of me making out with hot girls. Then they're like, "Oh, you paid her to make out with you." Right, right. Oh, exactly. I show them pictures like that, Lucario. I get why you. Don't. That's the internet shit, bro. That's yeah, so I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm like, fuck this. But anyway, um, Lucario, I appreciate you coming on. Hey, Lucario, by the way, did yeah. I be honest? Did I interrupt you a lot? Did nah, I? You, 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 you get it. You, you was doing good this time. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you good, you good, bro. You good. The first time I was in Miami, bro. You gotta understand, mm, right? I know, Lucario. I sent you. Uh, I think I said I was. I was high. That was a fraudulent slip. That right. was. A, uh, I was drunk in Miami. Mm, like, right. Like, <laughs> uh, no, it's all good. It's all good, man. I, I appreciate you having me on here, man. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate you, um, Lucario. I'm surprised you are still alive after you went after Midtown, bro. Like, <laughs> oh man, these dudes, these dudes are too funny, bro. Like, how do you? And you know what's funny, Lucario? I've noticed there's certain Midtown content creators, not all but some. Now they're giving the same. Like I said, some of them bite you. They're giving mm. away like how to get girls or what to say to girls. <laughs> so it's like Midtown, like. PUA 2.0 or PUA 2020. Mm -hmm. You get right. what I mean? Like, Mito is the new pickup artist. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But you, but see, that, I already knew that was going to happen. I already knew that was going to happen because I had, I had dudes hit me up talking about, oh, you just don't like MGTOW because MGTOW's taking your business. I said, no, no, no. All those MGTOW dudes are just in transition. It's like, it's like, it's a hub for, for, for bitching and moaning. You understand what I'm saying? Then once they realize, that shit ain't gonna change unless they get up off the ass and do something. Now they want to talk about game. Now you got dudes out here who's who's who claim their MGTOW who used to diss dating coaches, thinking they're a dating coach, giving out dating advice, which is goofy to me. But you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it's ridiculous. You know, what I'm like, you know, you know what, what's you know. funny is Lucario, they would say, I'm not well, well MGTOW, we we pump and dump, which to me. PUAs used to pump and dump as well. Them, them niggas ain't pumping and dumping because they can't even get to the pumping. I I, I can't stand with dudes. I can't stand with dudes be talking that shit. Though, I'm, I'm, oh, you, you, ain't even, you ain't even got the game to get to the pumping. You know what I'm saying? Do somebody they pumping and dumping. You know what I'm saying? And you know why I know they ain't pumping and dumping? Because they don't even have the fucking game to get women on a regular. So when they get a piece of pussy, you wait, better wait, wait, believe they on the live streams. That's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, 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 they on the they on live stream talking about I was on POF last night. This girl said she wanted to suck my dick. She didn't come over. Please donate to my juice fund. I'm like, come on, man. These motherfuckers acting like they pump, they're not pumping and dumping. The, the, the simp energy is so strong that they are going to want to hold on to that woman, period. You feel what I'm saying? They're not fooling nobody. So it's just, it's just, see, again, it's the internet, bro. It's the internet, man. You just gotta, you gotta accept that it's the internet. You're gonna have dudes talking all the stupid shit. By, by the way, Lucario, I will say this not every Midtow is doing it. You got some guys mm. that are, in my opinion, they're really fly with the Midtow shit. Right. You know, you got Messenger Rising. Mm. In my opinion, he's like really Midtow. Like, right. you talk about the Messenger Rising is an older dude. He he doesn't deal with women, period. Right? Mm, he doesn't right. Know about women. He doesn't talk about women. Thinking ape. You got <laughs> Coach Greg Adams, but you got some of these dudes out here talking about come on my Patreon to see me talk to women. Mm. I'm like, nigga, I thought, thought you were Midtown. Yeah, we go to the club, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, wait, wait, Midtown, wait, you know. wait, hold up. I was in Miami. Midtown's be at the club. Yeah, nigga, we at the club too. Midtown, nigga. That's what happens, bro. That's what happens when what you're doing, you ain't got no foundation. You know what I'm saying? You start flip-flopping everywhere. You know, it just is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, wait, Lucario, look at my face. You <laughs> tell him go to the club? <laughs> King Richard, oh, you tell him go to the club? That's what happens, bro. But hey, fuck it. You know, dudes got to do, dudes got to do whatever they feel they need to do. And I support dudes doing shit. Whatever they want to do, as long as it's righteous, as long as they want to really do it, do they think. I don't give a fuck. But, you know, when dudes start 
coming back and start acting like shit is what it isn't, then that's when I have an issue. So it just is what it is. Dudes just got to do they do what they feel is right for them, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. All right, um, we're we're out of here. I appreciate you, Lucario, for coming on. Do you have any final words before we leave? Because I know you got to go. Any final? Uh, you can shout out your where they can find you, and I'll yeah, post- definitely, man, man. Shout out, shout out to you, Solo TV, Real Talk. Uh, shout out to my dude King Richie's. Shout out to Afi Kingdom in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat that came through. Also, remember, guys, I have a Bad Boy membership sale, which is from now up until February 9th. When you join the Bad Boy membership, you're going to get a program for free called 10 Ways to Upgrade Your Life Right Now. Okay, so if you're not making the type of money you want, you need to upgrade that shit. You need to upgrade the type of chicks you're fucking with. You need to upgrade your whole situation. So make sure you guys, you know, go to Bad Boy membership so you can get that program. All right, man. Solo TV 84. Listen, <laughs> any metal, you can go to Lucario's channel. Yeah, you're right there. Don't come after <laughs> me, nigga. Don't come after <laughs> me. And we out. Peace. All right, man. Peace. Later. Hey, Lucario, this was.